how much it's going to cost you. Here goes the two accounts, and there's a whole bunch of other details that come with it. And I send that to the borrower, right? And usually, usually make sure that they know, hey, go pay this card to this level, this card to this level, get this item deleted, etc. Okay? The other thing we can do is something called a what if scenario, where we can just go in and look at each line of credit, and we can play around with it by reducing the balances. What does it do to the score? So this person in this scenario went from 616 to 634. Right? So we have different tools that we can use. Now, this is stuff that we can do that we can fix in probably four to five days. Okay? That's why it's called a rapid rescore. Okay? Every bank, every lender has the ability to do this because we all go through a third party to pull our credit reports, and they all offer the same service. Not all of them will do it, right? Not all of them will do it, but they all have the ability to do it. Okay? It's called a rapid rescore. Other credit experts out there can do something that's a little more long-term, right? They can mail some letters. They can reach out. Some attorneys can reach out. That stuff will usually take about 45 days. But the stuff that we can do is stuff that can be done in four to five days. It's just a matter of adjusting some balances, maybe getting some things deleted that can be done right away, okay? Some people, like Bianca was mentioning, hey, that thing should have been going. I even have a letter. It's still in my credit report. Give me a copy of the letter. I can go to the credit bureaus and get that removed like that. And then we can see the score jump up. Okay? So there's some things that can be done in a rapid fashion. We call it rapid rescore. This is a four to five day thing. Okay? We had a borrower, I think was here, Bianca, right? Four, five, five, five credit cards had to be paid off. We fixed their scores in four or five days. We moved them up to a conventional level, and then, they, then we closed them in, what, nine days, right? We got them taken care of, right? Rapid rescore. <laughs> nine or seven, right? Rapid rescore. Okay. Questions is, on that? <laughs> is there anything, um, do they pay extra for that? Um, for that? No, there's no extra cost for that. Okay. No. We, the bank who does it, we pay extra, but we don't right. pass, we don't that pass that cost. Okay. No. Yeah. We're trying to get them to where they can be ready to go, so we don't pass that cost. Okay. Any other questions on that? Rapid rescore. Uh, rebuilding bad scores, fixing credit, starts with getting credit, right? So I mentioned uh, all the credit options. You got oneunited.com, right? This Unity Visa, uh, a good secure credit card. Uh, I haven't had one person turned down yet, okay? That's how I measure how good it is. They report to all three credit bureaus, and so far no one's been turned down, right? I sent my son, and his credit was horrible. He had, a, as young as he is, he had a bankruptcy already. I don't know how. I can't figure that out. But anyway, he got a credit card. I wonder who advised him. <laughs> it wasn't me. It wasn't me. He's out of the house. <laughs> Um, USAA has a couple of different secure credit cards. They have a secure Visa, and they have a secure American Express as well, okay? You can start each of these with like a $250 balance or something like that. That becomes your balance, all right? Perfect. They report to all three credit bureaus, okay? As soon as you open one of these and you put a balance on there and pay it off, you're going to see a jump of probably 20 or 30 points just like that. If that you know, most banks, wherever you bank, they all have their own secured credit card, but if you choose to go your that route with your own bank, you want to ask them first, do you report to all three? Right. Because in my mind, I was thinking, oh, well, you know, I could just go to my bank and get one. But the question is, do they report to all three? That's right. So that's where you want to use one of these instead. Right. If they only be, they say, oh, we only report to Equifax. Okay, that's not solving my problem. That's right. Yeah, because you want to hit all the way. Right. Because if you go to buy a house, you go to buy some they different things. All three. They're going to be looking for all three. Yeah, mm -hmm. at least two to be above, right? Mm -hmm. So absolutely, make sure they're reporting all three. That's a good point. And then the other one that's really good is Fingerhut. Wow. Fingerhut.com. Fingerhut.com is an online web store. That if you go open up an account, everybody's approved. Yeah, everybody's approved. Everybody. You go open up an account, they're going to say, "Hey, listen, you spend fifty dollars, uh, and then we'll put you to our revolving credit plan, and you got it. You open up an account, you you go find a, a vacuum cleaner for fifty bucks, and you're going to pay that. When you pay that off, you're going to now have a revolving. It's going to show up on your credit report as a revolving." When you open it up initially, it's going to be an installment debt. But once you pay that first purchase off, it's going to be a revolving. This is, a, this is perfect. This is perfect. So for people who don't have credit or who need to get credit, this is where I send them right here. This is where you can tell whether or not you really want to get your credit together. If I check back in with you in 30 days and you don't have one of these, you ain't ready to go. 
you ain't serious about school. What's my buddy used to always say, you ain't serious about school, Steve. If you haven't done one of these three, you ain't serious about school. Okay? This is get guaranteed. They're going to prove you. All you need is like $50, and they'll probably hit you for like a $30 usage setup, whatever. But it's fair exchange ain't robbery, right? Fair exchange ain't robbery. They're saying they buy from us, and we'll report some good news for you. As long as you pay on time. That's right. As long as you pay on time. But they're going to report to all three bureaus. You can't see this. But it's in Spanish. It says, report to all three bureaus. I can read it in Spanish, but I don't want to do that right now. Because <laughs> I got some people in the room that know Spanish. So, guys, yeah. <laughs> so, questions on these. How do I fix my credit? How do I build my bad scores? Right here. Right here. And once you get these, where, where should we keep our balances at? We don't want to go over what level. 30%. 30. 30%. 30%. Yeah. We don't want to go over 30% of the limit. So you can get one of these at $300, $300 card. We want to keep our balance under $100. Real simple numbers. Keep it under $100. Okay? We don't want to go over 30%. If you want to build at that A level, you don't want to go over 10%. So use it, but make sure that balance is underneath $29, underneath $30 at the end of the month or pay it off. Okay? Real easy way to build credit, right here, guaranteed. Lifetime guarantee is what I used to say. <laughs> when I had a transmission shop, I would sell a transmission. I'd say, I'm going to give you a lifetime guarantee. The guy would go, well, what happens if you don't own it anymore? I'm like, well, you still got a lifetime guarantee. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the company, not me. Um, but this is a perfect way to build or fix credit, right there. One, two, three lines of credit, okay? Revolving credit. Every month it's going to tell you the good news. Every month you've got to have someone out there that's knocking on the door saying, Steve's got good credit. Okay? My scores went from 500 to over 700. I'm going to tell you right now. It started right here. These two right here. Right here. Right? Now I have them giving me credit cards. Now I have them boosting my scores. Right? But trust me, they, hey, they didn't even want me in the store. Before, I couldn't even get in the store. That's why I was like, sir, you got to get out of here. <laughs> well, hold on, I got to get some Christmas gifts. Bye. All right? But I started right here. My son, my youngest son, and my other one, I have them as authorized users. That's another way you can help get credit. All right? Authorized user, you can go on someone's credit card as an authorized user. Now, that doesn't authorize you to use the card, but basically <laughs> what happens is, is the positive credit history, the length of history, the 10, 15 years of great history, it flows to you if you're, if you're on as an authorized user, or yours flows to them. Either way, right? It flows. So, so that, you do that for a couple of months, now all of a sudden their scores will start coming up. Right, Jill? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Their, scores, their, their scores will start coming up. Do it with somebody who you know pays their bills and has their balances low. low. Because if that person has the balance high above 50%, then that's not helping you. Right, that's right. Even if they pay their payments on time. That's right. But if they carry a high balance, then that's not that's just right. defeating the purpose. Because if your balance is over 50%, what score are you getting? A, B, C, or D? D. Is D getting you any points? No. Nope. Nope. Actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah it, it goes like this. It goes like this. You got A, great. You got B, you got C, and then when you're over 30%, yeah. you got D. D stands for down. Man down. Man down. <laughs> <laughs> credit down. Credit down. You know what I heard, Steve? I yeah. heard that people actually do this as a business where they, um, people, they pay people to put them on their, um, on their authorized user. And yeah, I don't, I don't know anything about that. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I don't know nothing. Okay. Thanks, Barry. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah, and I did learn what Taffy did say because they carried a lot. But that's only because they were going through doing something and their balance was high. But as soon as they paid it off, 
then it really started getting me going. But yeah, initially they had they had a lot on the credit card. And I was like, man, I thought she was helping me. <laughs> <laughs> and now which they were. Because even their fifty percent even their fifty percent was better than my five hundred, you know. So uh, it wasn't too bad. But but any questions on secure credit cards? Easy to get. You put the money down, that becomes your balance. These also are CDs, right? They're CDs. So that's your money. So it's earning some interest too. So these are actually a CD. All these secure credit cards are actually a CD. Okay. Give deposit. Questions on that? All right. So once you get that done, then you're ready to get pre-approved for a home loan. <laughs> I was just joking. Uh, I had to throw that in there. Uh, but I want to thank you guys for, for taking the time. Um, again, this is the first session. So the next one we do, we're going to bring somebody who does this, does credit repair. And they'll come and they'll share their model. And then we'll bring somebody else, and they'll share their model, right? Because there's other ways. There's ways people do it. One, one of the people does letters. Other people do different things. So we'll bring them in so they can share their model, right? Because the more you know, the more it can benefit you or other people that you do know, mm -hmm. right? And that's the whole purpose for this, is to either help benefit you directly or someone that you know, right? Because the more people that you can get credit worthy and ready to go, the more houses you can sell, right? Right. Makes sense? Ah. Right. Questions? No, that was good. Preguntas?